So in the process of doing my repotting project right here, and also including those orchids right there, those orchids right there, and of course those orchids right there. So as I was in the process of taking all of these orchids out of the potting media, this one in particular I lifted up and lo and behold, tangled in the roots was actually a snake. And I dropped that orchid so quick, I fell on my back and I was crawling on all fours backwards, doing the spider crawl, screaming at the top of my lungs. And that is when I realized that it was absolutely absurd that I would be so terrified and so scared of something so teeny and tiny and, to be honest with you, looked a little bit adorable. Now, being that I spend most of my time, at least half of my time, in my orchid garden, wouldn't you say that it should be very important that I go ahead and face my fears? Because this is a natural occurrence that I do encounter snakes. So I believe that I need to find a way to go ahead and face those terrible orchid fears. And do you guys know that the only way to get over your fears is to actually face your fears. So today I am facing my fears with you today. I am not going to live my life thoroughly and deathly afraid of snakes. I refuse to do it. So here we go folks and wish me lots of luck. And I have the snake in this little tiny container right here. And that snake is hidden underneath that leaf. So we're gonna go ahead and get him out now. Okay guys, and here we go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, how am I gonna get it out of here? I don't wanna scare it. Ah! Oh my gosh! Uh, uh, do you guys see it? Okay, okay, it's all good. I'm just gonna dump him out. Oh, look at him, he's so tiny. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? I'm trying to get him into my hand. Okay. Oh my gosh! It's, it's sticking out of tongue. Oh! It is on my hand. It is on my hand. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? Now, this is supposed to be a snake that is quite harmless. It is very rare that it would bite for the simple fact that the mouth is so small. Oh my gosh. Please don't climb on the back side. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe what I'm doing right now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, please, 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 please. I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Okay, okay. It's trying to find a hiding spot. Oh, I'm afraid of the back side of my hand because that doesn't have any um, plastic covering. And I say covering, uh-oh, please don't climb up my sleeve. Okay, now I'm getting terrified. Now I'm getting terrified, guys. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now this is a pretty docile snake so far. There it is, guys. Oh my gosh. I cannot even believe I'm doing this. This is called a ring, um, a ring snake because of the, oh my gosh, I could barely talk. Oh, 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 oh. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, so the ring snake is supposed to be a very, very docile, very friendly snake, and it appears to be. I'm not giving it any reason to be afraid right now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, please don't jump. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't, don't, don't crawl near my, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, okay, okay, just on my hands. Okay, I'm about to put him down. Oh, oh. Whew. I just don't want it crawling, crawling up my arm or anything like that because I don't know how fast this snake actually goes. I don't want it to get riled up either because if it gets riled up, it could end up biting me. Even though it's very rare that this snake bites, but 
Okay, so we had our fun in the sun, I think. Uh-oh. He's trying to get away. He's trying to slither away now. Oh, yeah. He's tr he sees the grass, guys, and he wants to go home. So I'm going to go ahead and release him now. There he is. He's in the container now, and oh, boy, he does move pretty quickly. So I'm glad he didn't climb up my arm. Now, this snake is only but about maybe four inches, so it's not that big at all. And uh, he was very, very nice and friendly to me, so I'm so glad. I'm not sure if I've gotten rid of my fear, but uh, at least I stepped up to the challenge and hopefully I won't be so afraid. There's a little bug that I did put in there hoping that it would eat it, but I guess it was too big for it. And at the time I put it in there, it was still alive, but I think it's dead now. So there he goes, trying to hide underneath that leaf. But I'm going to go ahead and release him today. Not in my garden, of course, but he'll be released somewhere in the forest area. And he's only but a little bit bigger than a worm. So again, he's very, very tiny. Now this snake actually has quite a remarkable threatening skill. It's a bluffing mechanism. Whenever it becomes afraid or, you know, is under attack, it will play dead or have its tail curl up where it'll show its very bright colors in attempt to get whatever it is attacking it to be a little bit more afraid of it. Look at that color underneath it. Very beautiful color and then it has a very bright red tip as well at the very edge. As much as I've been messing with it, it hasn't tried to attack me once. So it is a pretty sweet snake. Yeah, he is a sweet snake though. Come on. Look, look, look. He's coming to my hand. Oh, so sweet. How sweet is that, guys? So doggone sweet. He likes me. He's an adorable snake. Look at that. I'm not that afraid anymore, guys. It worked, I think. See? Facing your fears, I'm telling you. You'll find it's not that bad at all. And this guy is so sweet. I've just met a new friend. Who would have ever thought? Who would have ever thought? See how orchids are bringing us all together. Isn't it amazing, guys? It truly is. So I do feel a little bit braver, folks. And although I'm not completely over my fear, I am very, very proud of myself for doing this today. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. I tell you what, I don't think I would have done it without you guys. I'll see you guys later, and I'll also grow with you guys as well. Bye-bye for now. Mwah.